coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next libgdx tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be learning about prefs or preferences. Uh, so what preferences are used is that they're an XML file that is created to store uh, relatively small data uh, such as user settings, um, small user data, so on and so forth. And uh, basically the way it works, it's, uh, it's a hash map that uses strings as values and that, or strings as keys and then we can um, get the values from those keys. Uh, if you're also interested in working with uh, the browser using uh, HTML, this is the only way as of now that you can um, write data in an easy way using libgdx. So anyways, uh, what I'm, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to up here, we're going to put preferences and we're going to put pref and we're going to put gdx.app.get preferences and we're going to put in the name of our preferences. Now, normally you can name it whatever, as long as it's a, a, it's a file name that is okay, but you don't have to put dot anything. It'll save it for you automatically. But uh, if we if we go to, if we hover over this right here and let's just put a just put anything right there and if we hover over this or is it yeah so if you read this right here it says that uh, on the desktop platform all libgdx applications say, share the same dot prefs directory so that's where the preferences are saved so to avoid collisions using specific names like uh, use this instead of saying just like settings so say you have user settings right instead of just using settings and in another game you make you might use you might use the name settings and you don't want to override it or, or create conflicts so what you will do for this application for example I'd say C uh, ca dot coding made easy dot YouTube dot and whatever the file name is. So if it's settings, the user settings or whatever. So that way you avoid collisions uh, with your preferences. Now on the Android uh, platforms, it uses the shared pre the shared preferences uh, class. So w even when people update your game or something, the preferences will stay the same. It will only get deleted when they delete your application. Uh, just for the people that are interested in knowing that the pref the preference the preferences on windows is saved in this directory so the profile name dot prefs slash my preferences so it's saved on there and on linux and on mac it's saved in this directory so it's this directory right here so just in case you guys want to know exactly where they're saved so anyways now that we've gotten that out of out of the way sorry what we're gonna do is yeah we're just gonna call this settings and what I'm gonna do is just run this desktop application right now just to show you guys something and desktop launcher and as you can see in the error it says a null pointer exception that's because nothing has been initialized in libgdx yet and so if we actually want to do something with it we need to actually put in the create or something else uh, but somebody asked me this before on a completely unrelated note if you really want to set your width and height like you did before just use a config and say config.width set the width and config.height to set the height uh, just in case you guys are confused with the new Gradle base build so anyways uh, what we're gonna do is uh, So we're gonna open the settings, right? Or we're gonna create, we're gonna create one of settings pref if one's not created. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say pref uh, dot, or actually we're gonna say name. So we're gonna say name is equal to pref dot get string, and we're trying to find the key name. Now what you can do is put a comma and you can put a default value right so we can say default value in case this and find the value name so what we're going to do is say gdx app.log and we're just going to put name as a tag 
and put name in here and if I haven't showed you what the app.log is it just writes uh, to the console window uh, so let's run this as a desktop application as you can see it didn't find a key for name so it just put in what we put in here so it just put in the default value so uh, so we can use that to our advantage in case uh, nobody puts in a value so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put null strings for the default value and we're gonna say okay if name is equal to nothing then we're gonna say pref dot put and we can put a lot of values. We can put an integer, put a float, put a long. But what, in this case, we're going to put a string. And our key is going to be name. And our value, I'm going to put Peter. And uh, that's what we're going to put. So we're just going to run this one time. So obviously, this time, we have nothing. We have nothing stored in name, right? Because we we just put name in there right so obviously there's nothing to get at first and we place the value so when we run this again we should be able to get the value this time right because it's stored so let's run this again and see what happens as you can see there's nothing there but why is nothing there as you can see right here we said put string so it should have saved it in our preferences well, what it does is that whenever we put pref dot puts string or whatever, what it does is that it saves it in the cache and it doesn't actually put it in a file until we put pref dot flush. Oh, sorry about that. Oh my gosh, hey, my keyboard does that. So pref dot flush, and that will flush everything and save it into the file. So we're gonna run it one more time. Obviously, we're not going to see anything the first time, so name is blank, and so we're going to run the second time, and now it should say the name Peter. And as you can see, voila, it was saved as Peter. So whenever we want to get the value for whatever the name, the character's name is, or the player's name is, we just have to say play pref dot get string name whatever stored in there the value Peter and I'll get that and we can do whatever we want to so we can use preferences to store a wide range uh, of small data if we want and um, it's pretty efficient so anyways that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment rate, subscribe don't forget to like my page on Facebook follow on Twitter and sign up on my website that's it and bye for now